with, with coach Virgil Hunter, just after the English from Farrell's win, I would say dramatic win, because as we know, uh, he was behind on the scorer's card, but did the job, beat the man in the 10th and the uh, decisive round. If you can, if I can ask you for an assessment about this fight after working with Andrew for five months. Well, you know what he he showed what he was made of. You don't you don't know if you can win until you come from behind. Him. So I think that was a big step up for him because I mean people forget he was fighting a three-time world champion. He just wasn't fighting anybody. And you can see that Dawson, you know, had some skills that you know confused him early on. But as he began to assert himself and got his jab working, he was able to start to get the he was able to get the punches through to start breaking him down. Particularly in the sixth round when he landed a liver shot that I saw and Dawson went downhill from there. So um, it was a good win for him, particularly coming back off of loss like he did. Thought it was a good win. So you were not surprised how good and I I did cover, uh, I would say, six, seven uh, fights of Chad Dawson, how good he was prepared. Because there were some, some question marks about his uh, will to fight. He proved it that he came to win. He came to fight because uh, the win over Andrew would have catapulted him right back into the picture. So he came to fight. He was in condition and he showed his pedigree. He showed it, you know. So, um, he caused Andrew a lot of problems. But Andrew persevered. Um, you know, he followed instructions. You know, once he stepped it up, he followed these instructions, um, you know, he prevailed. Could you pick like a decisive moment, if there was one, in this fight for Andrew when, when, you, know, when you thought, okay, this maybe will go the different way? The sixth round when he hit him with the body shot. Uh, it took a lot out of Dawson. I saw that when he came out the next round with his right hand down, bleeding out the nose. So I knew Andrew had gotten to him because he had his right hand down. Body shot was hit. And then the next round, he started dropping both hands. And then in the eighth, his legs started going from him. You know, he couldn't engage no more. His legs were gone from the body shots. That body shot was devastating. It was, I presume, a part of the tactics before the fight. Just yeah, to make we, worked, we worked on that punch every single day, the liver shot. Uh, and you surprised me when I asked him about what's next. He said, I expected you know, vacations in a couple of weeks, maybe even a couple of months. But he said, no, I'm going to spend a week with my wife and a child. And I'm coming back to Auckland work with Virgil again. Well, yeah, he's motivated. What do you think about it? Uh, I think it's a great decision, particularly um, if he's going to fight again in the next couple of months. It shows that he's you know, dedicated to his career. And he likes it there. You know, there's a lot of world-class fighters in there. And the atmosphere is good. It makes a fighter want to try. The last question, I really appreciate your time. You're welcome. You were working with Andrew Fabara, Mario Barra. Very busy, very busy man. As usual, busy hotel. You are always up. And uh, if you can play devil's advocate, what did you not like in Andrew's performance? Well, I never Is say. It was anything. I never say dislike because it's our first fight together. I can only say something like that if we've been together for a while. But it's our first fight together, so he's That's going through a trans. This period also picking up on new things, and it's a process, as you said. So it wouldn't be fair to say I didn't like this, and this is our first fight because what we're working on is not completely come to fruition yet, but it's showing up. Particularly his jab is yes. showing up. Yeah. On defense, also. yes, his jab really did a lot of damage tonight once he started using it. Yeah, and his defense was better. He got hit with some shots down the middle, but that's going to be easily corrected because he was standing there. It's not like he could hit him when he wanted to. Andrew pretty much gave him the shot, standing there. You know? So 
No, that's easily corrected if he wants to correct it and by him coming back early, early like that. That's what we'll work on. We'll work on him sliding over quicker and we'll work on and that will take away him standing still. You know, I can kill the fastest animal in a bird or whatever in the world if you're standing still, right? I can shoot you <laughs> out the air if you, or if you're on a, on a limb somewhere. I can, if you're the fastest thing in the world, if you're standing still, I can do it. I'm, I'm pleased. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Your time. Thank you're you very welcome. much. Sir. Thank you.